uh, publisher and president of Food Safety Tech here at the Food Safety Supply Chain Management Conference. I'm standing with John McGlynn, the VP of Sales for GSQA, which is the product of EMNS. And um, we've uh, heard a, a variety of different types of presentations today. And we're um, learning about some of the solutions that companies like yours can provide food companies in terms of managing information, in terms of managing the supply chain. What are some of the key issues that your customers are solving with GSQA? No, that's a good question. By the way, I'm enjoying the conference. And again, this time it's an excellent uh, uh, venue for sharing and, and education, so I appreciate being here. Um, there, are two big, there are two big areas that our customers are focusing on today. And I'll say one is static and one's dynamic. Mm -hmm. First off, static <clears throat> is a description of the entire supply chain. Now, we tend to focus on large companies, so that's an enormous project mm -hmm. to be able to know of all the suppliers, of all their locations, what they ship to what plants in the enterprise. That's an unknown right now. Mm -hmm. and if someone were to ask me, how many plants does that customer have? I'd say, I'll get back to you when they figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is that this static view of the supply chain will be a revelation. Okay? The second piece is dynamic. Mm -hmm. That's when all that's put together, then it's the movement of material and the quality characteristics associated with each of those shipments down to the lot level so that the shipping company can check and validate material specifications before it's shipped and the receiving company knows as soon as they're shipped that they're going to be available at a certain time with a certain spec. That classic supply chain quality management solution is uh, installed in a number of customers, but the static one also has a lot of appeal. Mm -hmm. Great. You know, you and I have had this conversation before, and it was it was uh, an interesting um, angle that you saw, which was food companies are paying a lot of attention after they've already been contaminated. They're doing they're doing testing when it's our Obviously, there's, there's, there's contamination already in the plant versus being proactive about preventing it from happening in the first place. Now, how do, how do you get the project team to get upper management to, to get approval? And I think there's a, there's a relationship to this. Yes, there is. I, I think it's a great question, and I think you've got a session on it tomorrow afternoon, which we're all going to learn from, because we've not, we've not broken the code on how to take the ROI uh, approach to upper management. In two very interesting instances, uh, customers have, in one case, been uh, facing a very large penalty fine from a very large customer, and that moved them over their edge to commit and get the project done. Mm. When they did commit to getting the project done, they had to have it done yesterday. So that meant an accelerated implementation in less than three months with quite a few uh, modifications for their particular situation. The second one, was more of a marinated situation. It was not a shock. They had marinated the idea mainly because in their business, uh, pet food, another supplier, vendor of pet food, had unfortunately killed several of their clientele. Jeez. <laughs> so this company took the wisdom of that experience and said, we're going to remedy the situation of contaminated materials entering our supply chain by implementing a multi-tier supply chain, a very large company. We've, um, with the gained attention that food safety supply chain management has um, gained in the last several years, uh, FISMA certainly is, is giving it attention, G GFSI is giving it attention. That's led to a rise in um, companies that provide m ways of managing information. And obviously you guys are one of them, but what makes GSQA unique compared to some of the other products out there? Well, first off, we've been out over 11 years. And it's always been a, a, an electronic data management solution. GSQA was built for the web and has existed only in a software as a service model. So the idea being that the 11 plus years of doing this, there's a lot of nuance in our workflows you won't see anywhere else. And those workflows include a quality shipping workflow about how to ship and how to track the COA. 
about advanced ship notice to receiving locations, about how to receive and coordinate with the ARP systems like e, uh, SAP, about how to track lab tests that are required by skip lot uh, uh, a calculation and then compare those lab tests with the COA from the supplier to keep them honest. All that creates a very large knowledge base which drives a lot of analytical results mm -hmm. which show up in alerts to key people indicated in the system and back to the suppliers for their own sort of awareness of how they're performing and also drives directly into scorecarding. So the whole ecosystem that GSQA has become can handle uh, several major uh, flows including COA and ma material validation, the non-conformances over the web, and all the regulatory and best practice documentation required to keep them in compliance, all handled in this ecosystem called GSQA. Great. Great. Well, John, thank you very much for being part of this, this conference. Uh, we appreciate your support, and I wish you well with uh, your endeavors. Thank, thank you. you very much, Rick. Appreciate it.